got the wharf already. So we're going to split across to Kazooie here. And we're going to go right over here. And we got a Jinjo up here. There you go. And we're just going to leave this cave over here. And this will be our first of three races against the guy. Remember at the beginning here when we build drilled all these things out and there were these shoes here? Well, I'll take the shoes, jump in the flower. How do I have 20 clockwork eggs? I must have refilled somewhere. Anyway, back here to the beginning. Oh, don't leave the world now. Come over here and this guy will be waiting for you and he'll say, Fancy a little physical exercise, chicken legs? You've got the wrong person. I'm Mr. Fit, and I'm really fit I am. So fit, in fact, that if you can beat me in three events, I'll give you my fitness gold medal. That's nice. It is, actually. As you can probably see, event one is the high jump. The bar is set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over it to win. And it just so happens I have some shoes. Yeah, is that good enough for you? How did you do that? Never mind. We'll move on to event two when you find me. So he's going to go somewhere else in the world, and you'll have to find him and take him on in event number two, which right now we're not able to do, because we need another move, which will be the last move in the game, actually. Okay, so that takes care of that. So all we need to do now is just warp back with Kazooie. We're not going to use the warps much in here. In fact, I'm not sure if there are any other warps besides these two, which is surprising, considering how big the world is. Anyway, so I think what we need to do now is actually, yeah... Head down this way here. Oh, this is so tedious. This world can be such a pain in the ass. I mean, it's not as much of a pain in the ass as the other ones. It's just still kind of a pain in the ass, whatever. So anyway, what you might have noticed here is that um, there's a couple of areas here where it looks like there used to be a bridge and now there's not. And at the very beginning of the bridge, there's these eggs here. Well, these eggs actually contain something that Banjo can carry in his backpack to float. And so what we'll be doing later is coming back, putting this in Banjo's backpack. That's a rare Floatus Floatium creature, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, you'll bring Banjo back, take that into his backpack, and get him across, because you're going to need him to do what you have to do over there. So anyway, if I can get the camera back over to where I wanted to go here... We need to just get back to the fly pad and we need to fly again to go find the other egg, uh, I believe. Well, as long as we're here by the trash can, I guess we can do that. Yeah, the trash can. You probably wonder what the hell is a trash can doing in this world? Well, you have no idea. <laughs> so let's just head on down here and grab the honeycomb piece here. What are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, die. Okay, so uh, we're actually going to clockwork here, and we're going to run off the back side of this, if it's not too dangerous. Yeah, stay close, and go into the exit back here, or an entrance, actually, should I say. Once you get inside, hug the left wall, and over here is another clockwork switch. So that's our second of the four of those. We'll be kicking some ass here, baby! Super stash! I got two of you, and there's only one left, and I just don't know what I'm ever going to do anymore! Okay, so Kazooie, uh, was I on the right side there? This is the right side, isn't it? Yes, okay. And there's a Kazooie switch right here to open this. Obviously, you have to have Kazooie by yourself, so that's why we're doing this now. So, step off the switch. You don't have to, like, put a statue on the switch or any of that Wind Waker crap. So we come in here, and what in the world is going on in here? A visitor. Guffo doesn't get many visitors in his trash can. I'm not surprised! It stinks! <laughs> I prefer to think of it as an acquired aroma. Perhaps you can help me. I'm facing eviction from my trash can by the health and hygiene department unless I clean the place up. Shall I tell you about the problem? Do I dare ask? Filthy germs live in here. I've been told to get rid of 50 points worth. Killing a red germ scores one, green is two, blue is three. Oh, I know this already. Yeah, what the hey. You've got 60 seconds. 60 seconds, that's way too much time. Of course, he doesn't give you your automatic... Like, he doesn't automatically give you eggs for this. What we're gonna do here is, uh... Well, shoot. Gonna jump on the... Well, okay, fine, we won't do that just yet. 
Uh, we'll switch to fire eggs because that's the only thing we have in a limited amount of. And just go ape shit. Huh. Over the blue ones if you see them. It's pretty much self explanatory here. Yeah, we're kicking it. I see a blue one back there. Get some more toilet paper! Boy, I tell you. This place stinks. You know, in the bathroom! Just. I should be using, like, all my quotes here. See, we already got 54, we're good. 65. Yeah, and again, I'm using fire eggs because, as I said before, Dragon Kazooie has unlimited fire eggs, so. We got it. Great, you killed 86 points worth. I get to keep my lovely trash can, and you get to keep this. Cool. Alright. Uh, get out of the second person view, first person view. Fancy trying for a new germ best score? I don't think so. See you later. Tell all your friends they're welcome to visit. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. So what I was trying to do earlier was get on top of this bottle here. Shoot, I don't know if I can... There we go. There's a ginger up there. So, uh, now that we're finished in here, thank god. God. I don't even know what to say about that right now. Ugh. Okay, so, uh, don't we have a fly pad around here somewhere? We should. Dude, I didn't need to step on that. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. We can find what we're looking for here. Okay, we need to go this way. Or the rainbow. Should be another egg up here is actually yeah, here we go. Right here. Right here behind this broken bridge. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid to try to land, like huh, I can't do a yeah. Ooh, watch out for the thorns there. <laughs> anyway. Alright, let's hatch this one here. Alright. Bom, 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 and there's another one. That'll be for Banjo also. So now we're going to head back towards the rainbow. Let me see if I can... Yeah, perfect. A little pile of coins here. It's what looks like a pile of coins, I guess. And there's actually a switch on top of it that opens up the pot of gold over here. So now we have 20 seconds to get over across the rainbow. And this shouldn't be a problem. Almost made it there. Now this is kind of tricky. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this or not, but we'll have to see. Okay. So on the sides of the pot here, you can see there's little symbols representing each of the eggs. So you'll have to. What? Okay, that must be a regular egg, isn't it? Well, I don't know what that is, but what the heck? Okay, alright, whatever. <laughs> Maybe you have to do these in a certain order, I don't know. Okay, that's definitely ice, right? Okay, maybe it's a regular egg. Okay, I guess it is. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know my eggs around here, apparently. Okay, that's ice. Man, you have to hit that thing right in the middle? Damn. Didn't realize you had to be that accurate. So, let's go ahead and hit the grenade egg, then. Uh, get a little closer. Probably gonna take damage, but who cares? Okay, I guess you just have to get the eggs inside of the holes. Whatever. When you put all the four kinds of eggs in there, the whole room lights up with jiggies. You get on here and pick up the golden eggs, and she says, Welcome! Grunty says that, actually. You're in my Fable Pot of Gold Shooting Challenge. To win an ill-deserved prize, you must hit at least 75 jiggies! If you manage to beat 90, I'll give you an extra prize. I reckon you won't even hit 20. Fancy a go? Yeah, what the hey. I don't know if I'm gonna show my first attempt because I only got... Because I only got 85 and I want to get all 90 of them. Apparently you're, you're not supposed to go real fast here, but... Uh, the best way to do it is just to concentrate on one row at a time, keep the button down, and just go at it. 
and just, uh, kind of got the next, you know, go, go for the next row. See what you can do. And then go for the bottom row. Well. Ah, oh, we got it. What the hell? Oh no, I knew it was too easy. You hit 91 jiggies and win my friend golden first prize. It is actually possible to get all 100 of them, but you gotta be pretty good. You might have won all my prizes, but I bet you can't hit all 100. Uh, <laughs> get lost then. This game's too good for you anyway. <laughs> you don't get anything for hitting 100, just so you know. Here's the jiggy. You get an extra line of dialogue from Grunty. That was a minjo, by the way. So, let's get the hell out of here. Boy. Anyway. So, back here behind the pot is actually a... Uh, Another empty honeycomb piece, and we're gonna die after we get this. So, yep. Dog. <laughs> Poor old Kazooie.